I knew this couple lived southeast of Horseshoe. I think they were on 188 Market Street. Anyway, they had this apartment, man. A temple of love. You should have seen it. Aiden, you've traveled through the Outlands. Any other city still standing? Man, I'm so thirsty. Hey, that's the pill. I craft and carry only the finest. Pleased with your purchases. There's hey, chatter about the night that was rising from the ashes lately. People need hope.
ginger with a mohawk? Bastard stole my last bottle of water. Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash, others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. And those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there, those psychos from the GRE. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there, easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. 
Everyone fights for themselves. Everything all right? No, it's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very. It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... 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 craft master? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. I've seen someone about your job so badly in my life. Explore streets all the time. You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did. everyone we should be getting ready for winter
I didn't do nothing. I don't believe you. You never liked him. Is everything all right? I can hear you a mile away. None of your business! Sorry about her. Save your sorry for Theodore. You better find him right now or else. Monica, maybe this is for the better. You don't get to tell me what's better. But I'm telling you, you better get Theodore out of there. Come on. Do you really want that? You think life is hell on Earth now? You wait and see how I make you feel if Theodore comes to any harm. Who's Theodore? Theodore is the most brutal motherfucker in the bazaar. Should be in a PK prison. Fuck you, Will. He's my boyfriend, not yours. So then, what happened that might be better this way? Yeah, tell him, Will. I... I couldn't watch. This brute hooking up with my sister and... Will, Lord Theodore, in a dark zone. And now he'll fucking go and get him out! Monica, wait. You're a pilgrim, right? That place is soaked with chemicals. Hell, Theodore's probably dead already. You want me dead too? Even if I manage to find him, the asshole will just kill me. Pilgrim, would you... Would you get that jerk out of there, please? Mavic, you just said if he makes it out, he'll kill you. I have no choice. Look, there's more. I'm pregnant. I found out this morning. Theo doesn't know yet. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. He lives in an apartment on Old Shambles Street, about 200 meters north of here. Theodore should be on the first floor. Wait until nighttime. It'll be easier for you. Hopefully he's holed up somewhere away from the biters. And one more thing. I love Theodore, you know, but he really can be dangerous. Be careful. How's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station.
You come closer and I'll kill you. Will and Monica sent me. Fucking Will! He better fucking run! I get out of here and he's dead meat! Oh, wait, calm down. Fucking rip his guts out and tie him in a fucking bowl! Ah, uh, oh. Actually, um. <sighs> Monica's pregnant. Wait. What? With your kid. Wait. Are you telling me that I, I'm going to be? You're going to be a father. Well, fuck me. That's fantastic. A goddamn miracle. When you say so at the beginning. I would have, but you were a little uh, worked up there at first. What if there's not only one? Maybe it's twins or triplets. What's your name? If it's a boy, I want to name him after you. Aiden. Aiden. Aiden Wintuda. Sounds perfect. Now get out of here. Monica is waiting. And Will, he has an apology for you. Nah. No apology needed. He was kidding around. Yeah. Like guys do. No harm, no foul. You leave him alone? You kidding me? Hurt my kids, uncle. But why would I go and do a thing like that? <sighs> I better go propose to Monica. We don't get married. People will talk. People can be so cruel, you know? Someone help! I'm hurt and my infection is spiking! <sighs>
Redlining. <laughs> Redlining. <laughs> 